Well, after thousands of dead fish were spotted floating in the Gowanus Canal, concerned residents started testing the water. They say they made some disgusting discoveries. CBS 2's Hannah Klieger covers Brooklyn, went out to Gowanus to tell us why activists believe this is happening. The stench of dead and rotting fish has hung in the air for weeks. It was putrid and it still is. It smells all the way up to Henry Street. It smells, it smells in industry city. As a sea of fishy carcasses were photographed floating in the water. It was tens of thousands of dead fish. Activists Slowly, like Gary Francis from the Gowanus Dredgers Basin. Canoe Club believe the marine die-off was caused by days and days of heavy rainfall in July, which caused sewers to overflow into nearby waterways. We're starting to experience stronger thunderstorms, wetter summers, who knows, but we have had a run of rain events that has made the canal as bad as I've ever seen it. Water testing conducted by folks from the Billion Oyster Project in recent weeks showed very low dissolved oxygen and high levels of fecal eating bacteria. When you have these nutrients in the water, um, it leads to decay and that oxygen is consumed and then the oxygen that the other animals can use to breathe is gone. Earlier this year, officials broke ground on two new sewage holding tanks along the Gowanus to address sewer overflow. These tanks and the improved drainage and pumping infrastructure around it would keep the Gowanus ca Canal cleaner. The tanks will have the capacity to prevent 12 million gallons of sewage from overflowing into the canal during rainstorms and will cost about $1.6 billion. The problem is both tanks are expected to be completed by 2030. Activists say another cause is the shutoff of the Flushing Tunnel, which brings clean water into the canal. It was turned off for the ongoing Superfund cleanup here. A great solution would be to try and introduce dissolved oxygen via the tunnel in some way that didn't affect the the remediation work. The Environmental Protection Agency, which oversees the cleanup, says multiple factors may have contributed to the die-off. But a spokesperson from the city's Department of Environmental Protection says fish kills are common and doesn't think this was directly impacted by sewage overflow. In Gowanus, Brooklyn, Hannah Klieger, CBS2 News. And Hannah is our community reporter covering Brooklyn. If you've got a story idea for her, you can email the address right there on your screen.